Not just sports, but no earth. 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 Pull up in, not just sports, but no earth. Pull up in, not just sports, but no earth. Tell up in, not just sports, but no earth. Let's begin again. And welcome, welcome, welcome to the 12th, that's right, 12 episodes of Not Just Sports by No Laps. Who'd ever thought? Who'd ever thought Bobby would be this patient? 12 episodes. We're in, baby. We're here. So check me out again. Listen, right here, Strong Island TV, every Tuesday night, 8 p.m. Okay, we're going to discuss the Yankees. That's going to be my monologue, the Yankees. And why am I a Jets fan? I don't even understand being a Jets fan. I can't, I can't, I can't imagine. Benjamin Patton, what's up, baby? Check me out on Roku, iHeartRadio, Spotify, SoundCloud, Spreaker, NJSBNE on Instagram, NJSBNE on Twitter. If you missed any episodes, episodes 1 through 11 are right there on YouTube. If you missed any episodes, you can check me out right there on, on YouTube. And also, also, every Tuesday, 8 p.m., right here on Strong Island TV. My boy Benjamin Patton is in the building right away. NBA is back tonight. Let me get on the NBA. We are going to discuss the NBA but we're going to take about two or three weeks. We got three weeks. I got guests for the next three weeks. So we're going to take about two to three weeks before we, before we discuss the NBA. We really don't need to discuss the NBA because we already know who's going to win. It's the most irrelevant regular season in all of sports. So we already know who's going to win. We know LeBron's going to win. We know the Lakers are going to win. And we know Boston's going to win. And if the if 76 make a trade, then the 76 is going to win. Everything We all know, we all know what's going to happen. So we really, I'm not in a rush to discuss the NBA, okay? That's like talking about the, the, the movie Titanic. We all know the ship ends at, uh, sinks at the end. We all know that. Why are we in a rush to, to go watch it? So I'm not in a race. Please, bear with me. Don't forget, don't forget, Nathaniel Nate Sample. This young man's been missing since September 26th. He's on his way to Atlanta from New York. He's 27 years old, about 125 pounds. He has a distinctive snake tattoo on the left side of his face. He was wearing a jean jacket with gray sleeves and black pants with a white stripe. He was driving a 2015 black Mercedes C250 two-door. If you have any information, please hit me up on Facebook. His mom is worried sick. Please, please hit me up on Facebook. The license plate number is J as in Jack, K as in King, U as in Umbrella, Umbrella, JKU5335. Okay, if you have any information, please hit me up. Okay, I got some sad news. The checklist, the play, has been canceled. It has been canceled. Um, one of the young men uh, got sick and has to have surgery. So we wish you well, Wally and Khalid Burgos. We wish you well. Get well soon. Please, 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 when you get out of the hospital and you're back at it again, come back to Not Just Sports again and we can take we can uh, push that show big time. Okay? And don't forget, we got my man One Take Carter. His album drops, I hope, next week. His album drops. Don't forget One Take Carter. He's on that show, Hustle and Flow. Hustle and Flow, which I believe is on Netflix. Check him out on Netflix. But today... I am super excited today. We got my man Papa John in the building. Internet sensation, comedian, Papa John is in the building. So we're going to have some fun. We're going to laugh. We're going to talk football. We're going to do the whole nine yards. But in the meantime, because I got some time, the New York Yankees, everything I told you was going to happen happen this is why not just sports has got to be important to you especially if you're betting money this is why it has to be important to you because everything i told you i said pray for a sunny day if it rains the yankees are done what did it do it rained and what are the yankees done yankees are done because brian cashman refused to address our pitching situation 
Jacaro Stanton, get rid of him now. Send him to San Francisco. I need Madison Bumgarner over here with the Yankees. I need this to happen. You, you don't need Giancarlo Stanton. You don't need him. He doesn't play the field. You, you, you're worried about home runs. You were second in home runs by one home run to the Minnesota Twins. And Giancarlo Stanton didn't play the whole season. He didn't play the whole season. And Jose Altuve, oh my goodness. All five foot five of Jose Altuve is a monster. Gary Cole, we didn't beat Gary Cole, and he had an off night, and we didn't beat him. And D.D. Gregorius, if D.D. Gregorius, I blame Aaron Boone. I don't even blame D.D. I blame Aaron Boone. What's this approach swinging at the first pitch? This is what most people know. Most people know. I am not a big Aaron Boone fan. I am not a big Aaron Boone fan because you see Sanchez is lazy. Gary Sanchez is lazy at best. They laid out a bunt. It took him two months to get out of his stance. He's lazy. And when Joe Girardi jumped in his net, he had a problem with Joe Girardi. Aaron Boone, you ain't see Aaron Boone jump at nobody's neck. Aaron Boone got his nose in an iPad. And that's the problem. Seravino, I, I watched that game. I said, Seravino's going to give him a home run early. Sure enough, first inning, boom, gone. 400 foot shot to Altuve. The smallest guy in the field. Altuve's a monster. He is a monster. Five for five. He's a monster. LeBron. 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 LeBron going to win MVP this year. He's going to win MVP this year. The man is ridiculous. Hey, didn't you put Anthony Davis with him? When they put you in the pick and roll, what are they going to do? What can you do with LeBron James and Antonio Davis, Anthony, Antonio, Anthony Davis in a pick and roll? What can you possibly do? Somebody tell me. If they pick and pop, you got a three-point shooter with both guys. If they pick and roll, you're getting dunked on. If you shed, then somebody's going by you. Or hedge, I'm sorry. If you hedge, if you hedge the screen, somebody's going by you. What can you do with those two? Absolutely nothing. But back to baseball. The Washington Nationals don't have a chance. The Washington Nationals, I give them one game. Although the Washington Nationals have good pitch, pitching. So that means they're going to beat Scherzer or, or, or Strasburg. They're going to beat one of them. Gary Cole is going against Scherzer tonight. I don't know what the score is, but I don't see Scherzer beating Gary Cole. That's a problem. D.D. Gregorius had bases loaded, two outs. New pitcher comes into the game. He swings at the first pitch and hits a dribbler down the first baseline. First pitch, the guy threw one pitch and was out the inning. What is that? What happened to the days of Paul O'Neill, Tino Martinez, Bernie Williams, Derek Jeter? Where we used to wait people out. Scott Brocious. Joe Girardi. The Yankees will regret the day. Brian Cashman, you will regret the day that you got rid of Joe Girardi. And New York Mets. New York Mets. You're a hot mess over there in City Field, that dump site. You're a hot mess over there in City Field. If you don't make it your business to hurry up and go get Joe Girardi, you don't deserve to ever win a pennant. You better make it your business to go find Joe Girardi. He lives in New York. You better make it your business to find Joe Girardi and trade Sesame. Because the first thing you're going to do is trade Sesame. Or you're going to see what is out there. You don't need Cespedes. You get two or three good players with Cespedes. You get some bullpen help with Cespedes. Because Cespedes don't want to play baseball. Cespedes wants to golf. He wants to drive around fancy cars. And you got to remind Cespedes, Yo, but listen, bro, you're not a center fielder. Go over there and right field like you're supposed to. And the only person that could do that, a man believe that, 
is Joe Girardi. So New York Mets, you got rid of Callaway. Good move. Now you got to make it your business to go get one of the top managers in the league. If you not, if you don't go get him, hey, Bill Maher, I hear Bill Maher is a part owner. He's a part owner of the Mets. If you don't get him, then you deserve to be a loser. I'll be back two minutes with my man, Papa John. Did you figure anything out for Billy's birthday yet? Yeah, I'm looking at something that's pretty neat. You don't have to worry about cleaning up afterwards or anything. So cool. Tell me more. You now have my attention and my money. Remember last year we had a party at the house and the uh -huh. kids messed up the house? Guess what? Bus a move comes to the house and the children tear up the bus, not the house. Yeah, that's brilliant. I know it's brilliant. Can't wait. This party is going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. The Bus a Move movie bus has a projection screen, fresh popcorn, theater seating, and surround sound for your ultimate movie experience. The Glamour bus has nail painting, face painting, massage chairs, dress-up accessories, and even a fashion show. The Activity bus has a platform with a slide and tunnel, ball pit, dance zone, as well as a few other organized activities. And for all the gamers out there, the gaming bus has a total of six screens, popular systems and games, and even a separate rear room with interactive games. Be sure to book us for your next event. Joseph A. Slinger Haskell Funeral Service, Inc., located at 155 Sunrise Highway, Amityville, New York, 631-842-2788. We service the Amityville and surrounding areas, shipping foreign and domestic with cremation services available. With every service being catered to your personal needs, we here at Slinger Haskell Funeral Service will treat your family like it's our family. Again, we are located at 155 Sunrise Highway, Amityville, Long Island, 631-842-2788. Genesis Fuel has affordable heating oil for your home or commercial property. Genesis Fuel is family owned and operated for the past 16 years. It's going to get cold. Call 631-249-1438 or www.genesisfueloil.com. Genesis Fuel services Suffolk, Nassau, and Queens. So call 631-249-1438. That's 631 631- Two four nine one four three eight, or check out www.genesisfueloil.com. Amityville, USA. Amityville, USA. Stand up for your boy. Internet sensation. If you want to see funny skits all over Instagram, all over YouTube, and now he's dabbling in the comedy. Funny as hell. My man, Papa John. What's good, my brother? How you doing, man? Are you good? Living and blessed, man. That's all I can do. That's, man. All, that's all we can do. That's all we can do, man. What's going on, man? Talk to me. Everything. You got you got something coming up. Talk to the yes, people. Tell um, them what's up. I have a show coming up October 31st at Celebs Night Celebs Sports and Bar. I'm doing a stand-up or not. It's my third time doing it, and I'm telling you, it's going to be off the chain. The, it's going to be off the chain. Listen, man. all you got to do is do you. Mm -hmm. If you do you... Everything will be fine. Mm -hmm. Everything will be fine. So now listen, you started out doing skits uh -huh. on on Instagram, basically, right? Yes. And YouTube. So people could go check out your skits right now. All they got to do is punch up Papa John. I am Papa John. I am Papa John. I am Papa John. What yeah. got you started in that? Um, When I had first came home, like I, I, I did jail time, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. Um, I needed some money in my pocket, you mm -hmm. know, so... One of my good friends went out. He said, you know what? He started DJing. He said, you should be on the mic. Like, this might be good for him. Ah, you stupid. You know what I'm talking <coughs> about. So I said, you know what? Just let me give it a try. So it started off just as far as just going to parties and dancing and mingling. And Millie rocking. And uh, Millie rocking. <laughs> you know, the guy. And it, you know, just one thing led to another. I never took it seriously. Mm. It was just supposed to be money. And it was never supposed to get to this point where it could. It, it where you was, went viral. Yes, why I went viral, and and to be honest with you, um, it never, I never took it seriously. Even after it went viral, mm -hmm. the first two times I didn't take it seriously. Right. But that third time when I hit like two million on one of my videos, I'm like, oh, two million, oh, oh. two million. It's still Go counting. Ahead. It's still counting. I think it's it's like, that one was, which one's at two million? The last one I have me in the park, Millie Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you are the funniest Billy Rocker because of your shape and your facial expression. You be so serious, Millie Rocking. 
<laughs> between your shape and your facial expression. For the guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. So go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, so, you know, and it started off as that. I'm like, okay, you know, maybe I could do something more with this. And that's how it started. And my mm -hmm. managers and everybody kept telling me, yo, you're going to make it big. I just... I didn't see it, you know, and how I see it now, I didn't see it before. And then I got the kids running up to me, yeah, the pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got families coming up to me in the mall yeah. and girls running down. Yeah. And, and dudes that are around my age from towns over that yeah. will listen to, you know, a positive influence. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's, it's kind of dope because I got the same experience where where I didn't think that it was this was going to take off the way it did right you know what i'm saying so it's it's nice to see my thing is moving pretty fast like it's it's, it's hard to believe right yeah it's yeah. hard to believe yeah. so i was on facebook one day i'm in the sports chat room these cats is from virginia and they was laughing at this video that was on saying yo these guys is nuts yeah. and it was a video and i looked at the video and i said that's Papa John <laughs> knocking somebody over their head with a glass bottle. <laughs> yes, yes. They yes. thought it was real. I said, nah, man, that ain't real. I, ain't real. I got up too quick. <laughs> it was a fake bottle. Everybody asked me that, like, yo, was it real? You thought I would have got up? Like, nah, I was there like, was no blood. Yeah, no blood. Everybody looking like, yo, okay. You know what it was? It was the reaction of the McDonald's yes, employee. Yes, yes, yes. We caught them <laughs> lovely. Like, they didn't know. They like, oh. Should we call the cops? I'm running out of McDonald's. Oh, yeah, but that was that was that was a good video. That okay, was a very good video. so so I'm very cool with your your, your mom and your dad. Mm. What did they think when you go into when you tell them I want to be an internet sensation? Um, you know I you know as far as I know I grew up in the church. You know exactly. I grew up in the church. That's why I'm asking this. That's question. why it's, it's it's listen at the end of the day it's. It's here, like it's always right. gonna be installed to in me. But my father was more like, <laughs> "Wow, I never seen this side of him. Like I never, I just know him as hard headed little John. Like right, right. they never." And my mother was just like, "Like she, the the one skit I had with the costume, she's like, well, you gonna let your son wear a hot dog costume? What's wrong with him?' Like so they didn't understand it at first, right? Until my little sister went up to him like, "Yo, like he's popping, yeah, like yo, these little kids is running down on me in school, yeah, yeah." Asking, "This is my, you know, this is my brother." Then you know, there's a couple times where I've been on my father, and the kids have like ran down on me these right are in front kids of kids in the community. These are kids in the community, who, regular kids just who, like me, right? Who appreciate what you do. Right. We appreciate what you I just doing. feel like if you can make a person laugh and feel good, Let and then now you. when we have a conversation about something real, you won't be so quick to defend yourself. Yes. Laughter is right. the best right. medication going, man. If Laughter fixes a lot. Laughter makes you forget a lot. Right. Like, I forgot about this Lipa bill because uh, I'm over here about to laugh with you. <laughs> yeah. I totally forgot about that. Now, I got to go home and remember But it. now, <laughs> my dad, he's like, wow. Like, my mom's, yeah. small, so my mom's still like... She doesn't understand the aspects of the right. business. Like, there's some things that I'm going to have to do. Right. You know, but right. It's, it's definitely my dad is more of a good He's family. more supportive more than supportive. he was. Not that I'm saying my mom's not supportive. She's no, not no, no. I understand what you're right. saying. I understand She's what you're saying. She's more like, oh, you're, sh like, I try to tell her, you don't have to be in a suit and a tie to be a leader. Right. You know, like, you don't have to be in the podium. You know, right, to right, be right. a leader. You know, I understand. I grew up in the church. I believe in God. I will never ever like forget that. Like, mm -hmm. like you know, I wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for Him. Mm -hmm. But I'm a leader. I can mm -hmm. be. I'm a leader. Like, this is my calling. So, mm -hmm. so, just, so, so, so you you're now dabbling the comedy, right? Right. And you have older comedians yes. such as myself, who um, I don't, I don't, but m some older comedians have a problem with the younger comedians because they think they have a fast rise because they're coming up through social media. They're coming up through Instagram. They, right. They consider you Instagram comedians. Right. Okay. How do you deal with the older comedians? Do they give you shade? Because I know a lot of them do. Um, a lot of the older cats, like yeah. when I speak to them, like, yes, I do get a lot of shade and a lot of, oh, you're just, you know, in, in 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 other words, in reality terms, yeah. Oh, you're just here because of the computer. The, the computer. That's me, what they really want to say. Let me tell you, old folks. Yeah. Let me tell you, senior citizens. Something. Look at me, good senior citizens. 
you need to start getting on this computer. You need to start getting, this computer is the new wave. This computer is the new ATM. You better start getting on this computer. Thank God for this computer, because I'm here today because of this computer. <laughs> hey, 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 Bobby, thank you for the computer, Papa. That's my man Bobby in the producer. Yeah, Bobby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but a lot of, a lot of, a lot of older, like, I, I can relate to them. You yeah, know, like, yeah, yeah. like, I think I'm a young OG at heart. That's, that's my problem. I think... <laughs> I think I belong in your generation, Uncle Noah. Yeah, like, yeah. That's how it really feels. Me. Yeah. Because I have like more of an older, you know, I'm not older curved, following, older, older. Soul. But you was you was messing with the older dudes at a younger age, right? So I've yeah. always been grew up under right. older guys. You know, my dad and my uncle, mm -hmm. and you know, it's, I can name so many. You right. Know, I've always so I can really, now. Yeah. I I, I want to say this too, because you just touched on it for a little bit. This is why. We can't afford to throw people out. Earlier, I think it was show seven or show eight, we had Khalid and Wally Burgos on. What Khalid had did a 10-year bid, and he changed his life around. Now he's producing plays. This, this young man did a short bid, and now he's out here doing a lot of positive things, right. touching a lot of young kids. Okay, so now, did, what was your biggest lesson? From that unfortunate incident, what was your biggest lesson that you learned? It's growing up in a good family when not, you know, you know, a real good family, a real good family. That like, mm -hmm. and I'll never, I'll never take that. I grew up good. You know, I'm adopted. I don't think a lot of yeah. people know I'm mm -hmm. adopted. Like, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't necessarily know my biological family, so I grew up good. Um, the biggest lesson I have to say is, you got, you gotta, you gotta take that opportunity. Like, there's, there's only but so much window. And you have to be humble throughout humble. the process. Be humble. A lot of people don't people, forget where you came don't from. Don't forget where I came from. And that's why I always remind myself I take smiles with. And another thing is take smile, take adver adversity with smiles. Mm. Like if people realize that, and just in life, not even about comedy, just life, you realize you're going to go through stuff. You're, you're, you're trying to be pitch perfect, and you're yeah. going to go through stuff. Yeah, yeah. So once you accept in your mind that, all right, I'm going to go through things, yeah. then you're going to learn how to take the hits and the bobs and weeds yeah, yeah. so much it's better. It's life. It's life. It's going to happen. It's life. And that's where the laughter comes in. That's where I just laugh at everything. Yeah. Everything's yeah. a everything's a uh, like people say, everything's a joke with you, honey. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. I laugh. You laugh me. to keep from crying keep sometimes. Keep from crying, yeah, yeah. And so, so, so you went from the computer, and now you take it to the stage. Yes, I'm just versatile, just trying to get versatile. Okay, everything. How I do. is that? How's that work? Because people, see, y'all think this comedy thing nah, it's, is it's easy. You think because you can tell jokes in the nah. backyard, the barbecue, you it's think it's whole, easy. What I might, it's a whole play. different game on that stage. What Please. I might not. Well, my, what I might think is funny, it may not be funny. Yeah. You might look at me like, I get that a lot. What the hell are you what I are get you that a lot. About? People think my yeah. comedy is weird. They think my, the way I look at things is weird. Like, I just posted on Facebook today. Like, when country dudes call their girl, bruh, come on, bruh, yeah, yeah. that is hilarious to me. <laughs> <laughs> you done called this woman, bruh. This is a woman that's the baby of your kids. You yeah. call her, bruh. That's hilarious to me. Yeah. So, so, so. You went from the computer to the stage. Mm -hmm. How was that working for you? Um, the first show I had, it was it was tough. Yeah. I was nervous, and I was in Manhattan. Oh yeah. So my first time, I oh, think yeah. I told you the first yeah. time me even just trying it out, mm -hmm. it was in Manhattan. I don't know what I was How'd thinking. How'd you do? I did exceptionally okay. Exceptionally I, okay. I didn't. I didn't get booed. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's the key. That's that's big. I got a couple laughs. I got a couple claps. I got a couple people looking at me like, "Yo, what is this?" <laughs> that's big. I can't see it on the radio. Yeah, 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 yeah. What yeah. is this person doing out here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the predominantly all area. Okay. All Caucasian. All white. All white area. Okay. So they Caucasian. Look, they looking at me like, "What is this?" You know, what yeah, is yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. what is he? I can't relate to him. So yeah, I don't yeah. know what he's talking about. Yeah. So that's uh, that's a thing. That's an art that people need to learn. Like one day. I did a show in Oceanside, and uh, they told me to come down. I didn't know what it was, but I know Oceanside, I know the area is a Caucasian area. Right, yeah. So I've got all my, you know, my jokes that go both ways, but they didn't tell me it was a gay club. 
until I saw two men with beards slobbing on each other. I said, oh, my goodness. All my gay jokes, all my gay jokes went right out the window because you don't want to offend anybody. Yeah. You, know, you want to walk that line where you're almost offensive. Right, almost. You're yeah, almost yeah. offensive. Yeah. And I like to cuss, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so, you know, I got to watch my mouth for a whole hour here. But I like to cuss. Okay. So, now, how'd you yeah. do the second time? Um... I actually did really much better. Yeah. There was a lot less people in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was good. And the club owner said, I mean, you're a funny guy. Like, you're a funny guy. And what they did was they wound up paying me. They put me on the contract for three months. So every okay. time I came, I got $100. Okay. And I got hey, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's do this right. Mm -hmm. Y'all laugh and talk about $100. Excuse me. $100 for your second show? Yeah, it's my second one. That's good money. Because my second show, I think I got twenty five dollars. <laughs> yeah, he said a hundred. I think you got a hundred. And he and he and he paid it before that Thursday. The show was that Saturday. He'll pay it wow. that Thursday. Yeah. Wow. Who is he? I need to get with him. Yeah, he's, this is definitely yeah. a whole. That's a whole strip just full of comedy bars. Hundred, hundred dollars second show. That's was, good. That's for, good stuff. It was only for three months. Okay, but whatever. Not, but it's cool, yeah. Whatever. It, it, you know, whatever. Now, what is your next, what is your goal for me? Because, you see, my biggest thing was I was 40, I'm 48 now. I was 42 when I started. I'm only 23. Okay. Yeah, I know. You're a baby. <laughs> so you got time. Yeah. I couldn't go to open mics in Manhattan on a Tuesday. I had a family to support. So what is your next move from here? Um, I just want to be good in everything I do. Whether, whether... It goes, it goes. And that's why I want to be versatile in everything. Okay. Um, so everything's on the table. Everything's Acting, on the table. Comedy, everything. Millie rocking. You got it. I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> where are you going to be? Tell the people where you're going to be again. Um, I'm going to be at Celebs Nightclub in Elmont next Thursday from 7 to 11. I put the flyer up on my Facebook and on okay. my Instagram. Uh, I just need everybody to come out and support. That's another yeah, thing. We I wish I could come. I got to work. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to be near the area, so right. I'm definitely going to put it up on my Facebook I'm going to have page. somebody record it just for you. Yeah, so, oh, yeah um, good. That's a good look. Yeah, just for you or not. Um, you know, it's, it's it's a good feeling. I get it. Like, one day I was in Roosevelt for more. Quick story. I'm walking. I got Chinese food in my hand. Everybody, I like to eat. I was, I got, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to go eat. I don't yeah, know yeah. what nobody talking about. I'm not mad at you. I'm trying to go rush to the table. I'm, you know, Roosevelt for more. They got the, the little staircase. Yeah. Up. I'm running up. Got, like... Grown man runs down me with two of his kids and his wife. He said, yo, man, you pop, man, from Instagram. Say, yeah, how you doing, man? I got my food on my hand. In my head, I'm like, yo, like, hurry up. Bro. I'm trying yeah, to yeah. eat. He's like, uh, he's like, man, yo, you really inspire my kids, man. My kids really love you, man. Can you take a picture with them? And that felt so good for me. I, 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 yeah, I, I was a good feeling. That's you know? dope. That's I was a good dope. feeling, you know. It, it, you know, it's, it's a real good feeling, man. That's dope. So yeah. my man, Papa John, he's here. We'll be back in two minutes with the NFL. Genesis Fuel has affordable heating oil for your home or commercial property. Genesis Fuel is family owned and operated for the past 16 years. It's going to get cold. Call 631-249-1438 or www.genesisfueloil.com. Genesis Fuel services Suffolk, Nassau, and Queens. So call 631-249-1438. That's 631 631- Two four nine one four three eight, or check out www.genesisfueloil.com. Joseph A. Slinger Haskell Funeral Service, Inc., located at 155 Sunrise Highway, Amityville, New York, 631-842-2788. We service the Amityville and surrounding areas, shipping foreign and domestic with cremation services available. With every service being catered to your personal needs, we here at Slinger Haskell Funeral Service will treat your family like it's our family. Again, we are located at 155 Sunrise Highway, Amityville, Long Island, 631-842-2788. Did you figure anything out for Billy's birthday yet? Yeah, I'm looking at something that's pretty neat. You don't have to worry about cleaning up afterwards or anything. So cool. Tell me more. You now have my attention and my money. Remember last year we had a party at the house and the uh -huh. kids messed up the house? Guess what? Bus a move comes to the house and the children tear up the bus, not the house. Yeah, that's brilliant. I know it's brilliant. Can't wait. This party's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. 
The Bus to Move Movie Bus has a projection screen, fresh popcorn, theater seating, and surround sound for your ultimate movie experience. The Glamour Bus has nail painting, face painting, massage chairs, dress up accessories, and even a fashion show. The Activity Bus has a platform with its slide and tunnel, ball pit, dance zone, as well as a few other organized activities. And for all the gamers out there, the Gaming Bus has a total of six screens, popular systems and games, and even a separate rear room with interactive games. Be sure to book us for your next event. Yeah. Watch it. And we're back, and we're back with my man Papa John. Papa John, comedian, internet sensation. Okay, let's read from the people. Pam Lloyd. Pam, hi Pam. That's Alabama. I call her Alabama because she's down in Alabama. She just went to her class reunion. She didn't know how to act. Pam, so proud of you, John. Pam Lloyd says, hello, John. Ben Lamberson. Ben Lamberson, one of my favorite people. One of my favorite people. I may see Ben, uh, ben twice a year. <laughs> Ben's a good guy. Ben, Epps is the best. <laughs> Auntie Gloria, Auntie Gloria Williams Powell, she shared it. Thank you, Auntie Gloria. Thank you, Auntie Gloria. Now we're going to talk about some football. And we're going to dis discuss last week. I know you played football. Yes. So I know you know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's discuss last week's games. Kansas City at Denver. Pat Mahomes mm -hmm. went down with a knee injury. And we got people, idiotic people, who don't know, understand football. Blaming Andy Reid for calling quarterback sneak. That's a regular play. That's a regular play. Tom Brady runs quarterback sneak every game. Never gets hurt. <laughs> what are we talking about? Your yeah. thoughts. People are just ignorant. People people just want to be heard. Just want to be heard. Just want to be heard. Yeah. Want to be heard. Man at Andy Reid for yeah. running quarterback sneak. You want to blame somebody? Blame number 81 who's supposed to step inside and block his inside gap. Yes. And he let a DN yep. come down on his right. quarterback. Mm -hmm. You want to blame somebody? Blame number 81. Who is number 81? Somebody on here find out who number 81 is on the Kansas uh, City Chiefs. How about Chiefs. they run it themselves? Since they want to yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a normal baby play. Right. They've been running quarterback sneak since they were six years old. <laughs> We yep. kidding? The Rams mm. going to Atlanta. Atlanta is in a free fall. Yeah, I don't know what's going on down in Atlanta. Atlanta's in a free fall. They got all that talent, and they do nothing with it. I, you know, I heard the tra the Patriots are trading. Yes, for they, just, they, they just they just traded. They're for not Sanu. playing fair. Muhammad Sanu. Oh my gosh! <laughs> don't get me started. Don't get me started. I can't stand New England, and it, I'm also a Jets fan too. <laughs> So I'm a Jets and a Cowboys fan. I'm just a Cowboys fan. I've been a Cowboys fan. Yeah, at least your daddy raised you, right? I your daddy always. raised you. No, good. my dad. No, let me say, my dad's a Peyton Manning fan. Let me tell you a that Peyton out. Manning fan. Once Peyton Manning retired, he has no team. Yeah. I just oh, asked him your this, father's wild. I just asked him a couple weeks ago. What's your favorite team? He's like, listen, I'm a Peyton Manning fan. Okay. Uh, <laughs> seriously. Does Dan Quinn need to be fired? Yes. I agree with you. He's had since that Super Bowl. Yes. It's been all downhill for He's had him. more than a fish amount of time to to get it together. To get it together. And Plus, yeah. he got he got Matty Ice. Yes. He got Julio Jones. Yes. He got the running back for the Poking Bean Projects. He had Sanu. He had Sanu. Yeah. He got Calvin Ridley. And he had a pretty good defense. It, the defense is always hurt, though. Yes. Can't so so he got weapons. He can't win. Miami. Do we need to discuss Miami going into Buffalo? Ugh. <laughs> that's like, ugh. Do we need to discuss that? No, we that's don't. a hot mess that's in Miami. A hot, that's a hot mess, and they thought they was gonna win the game. They need leadership badly. They can't. Know what I don't like? Know what I don't like about Miami? I'm gonna mess people head up. They hired a black coach with a black general manager, and they decided to blow the whole thing up. Is the black coach and the black GM going to get blamed for this hot mess? Or are they really tanking for Tua? You know what I'm going to tell you what it really is? What it really is, the raw truth behind closed doors? They were getting too much of power and, and, and respect, you know. And Who? I just feel maybe they felt, maybe in their eyes they felt like the coach and the gentleman. The coach was just hired. They just got hired. I understand that, but then you got people who don't who not thinking like that. Like, are you gonna let uh, an African American run the team? Okay, let me ask you a question. If they would have hired, let's say, um, McDaniel, the, the the offensive coordinator for the um, 
It would have been no problem. For the New England Patriots. They would that. they have blown up that whole team? They wouldn't have did that. That's my that's my question. What I'm trying to I That's mean, what I'm, I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, they would have not did that. What I'm trying to say to you is Unc is behind closed doors, people have complained, like, oh, how can you hire mm. an African American GM and an African American coach? We don't want a such and such running our team. I don't know if that's the truth. That's what it boils down to. I don't so. know if that's the truth. I'm telling you that's the truth. Mm. That's, that's, that's interesting. That's off of intuition. <laughs> that's, that's that's 23-year-old intuition. That's 23-year-old intuition. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> we get, that intuition is a little different. Jacksonville at Cincinnati. Jacksonville at Cincinnati. Jacksonville go to the Cincinnati and Washington. Yeah, I like the quarterback. Who? The quarterback they have now, Jacksonville. Oh, yes, with the porno star mustache. Well, yeah. Uh, uh, Minishu is his name. I do think he needs some work. But yes, yes, like any other person. But he's but he's brand new. Yes, that porno star mustache got to go though. Yeah, it has to go. That's a, that's a terrible mustache. He looked like John Holmes. You don't even know who John I Holmes. Know, I, Holmes. I bet your uncle know who John. But it Holmes sounds is. funny. Your uncle know who John Holmes is. I'm telling you, you know who John funny. Holmes is. <laughs> hey, Bobby, you know who John Holmes is? <laughs> yes, I know you know. That mustache has to go. <laughs> Minnesota. Goes into Detroit. I was I was surprised about that one. Why? Minnesota is good. I thought Detroit was going to give them a better run. I thought Minnesota was too because of what happened with the Green Bay with the Green Bay game. Yeah, they got they got they got messed up by the referees. They got jobbed by the referees. Right, so yeah. I thought you would have a little bit of an angry Detroit right, yeah, team. Right. But Minnesota is a good football team. Mm -hmm. I don't know why people don't think that. If people get, uh, uh, keep giving um. Your boy, uh, uh, Kirk Cousins, they keep giving him the business. But Kirk Cousins has been balling out. That's true, yeah. Call a spade a spade. Yeah. Okay. Trayvon Rodney. Trayvon Rodney is a Long Island football legend. Trayvon Rodney says, how about them Cowboys? So we're going to get to that in a second. Oh, yeah. We're going to get to that in a second. Oakland goes to the Green Bay. Aaron Rodgers goes for six touchdowns. One thing about him, when he get hot, he Aaron Rodgers hot. went crazy. When he gets hot, he gets hot. And all it only takes is for a little bit. You know what it is? He does it with no weapons around him. I don't know exactly. That's the truth. That's 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 crazy. a big fact. Yeah, like that's. Nuts. He got one in Devontae Adams, but Devontae Adams is hurt. Right. He's got a turf toe. So you you're right about that. Uh, Houston, this surprised me. Indianapolis beats Houston. And the, the one time I say, you know what? I'm going to bet mm -hmm. on Houston. Yeah. They lose. They lose. Hey, hey, your boy. And the Apples might be a sleeper team. They are. They're a sleeper team. Because that old line is a bully. Yeah, and then the quarterback, he may not be the best, but everybody around him hey, is. But he's playing a lot better. Right. He's played a lot. But that better. comes with time and you know. Yes. And yes. Yeah. Listen, listen. Aaron Rodgers sat on the bench for six years yeah, behind Brett Favre. Favre. Yep. Mm -hmm. So it does come with time. Arizona beats on the big blue dopes, just like I told you. I already knew I was. Just like I told you, you went in and beat up on the big blue dopes. Yep. Y'all running right here talking about Danny Crimes. Danny Crimes is trash. Listen to me, big blue dope fans. I told you this when you drafted him. I'm outside of New York itself. I'm ready to go down to Dallas. They thought Saquon Barkley was going to come here and act up. Nah, we're not doing that. You ain't going to put the team on his back. i tell you who Saquon Barkley is. He's the modern-day Barry Sanders. He's going to play on these, all these bad teams. He's going to rack up all these yards and never get a ring. Never get a ring. That's a good comparison. I never even thought about that. Barry that's Sanders. And that, def and that defense is atrocious. Well, Jerome, that's why Jerome Bettis is my favorite running back. Just well, Jerome, you shaped like Jerome Bettis. I've been told I look like him. <laughs> <laughs> and Ezekiel. <laughs> San Francisco goes into a monsoon and beats Washington 9 nothing. Now, rain is the great equalizer. Rain is the great equalizer because rain, you're only limited to running the ball, really. Yeah. Yo, so grain, it's rain. It's more of you, you're going to stop it or not. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. yes. Rain is the great equalizer. So they went in there and they won. A, I think that's a big game for them to win 9 nothing in that weather. On grass. It's not like they played on turf. They played on grass. Well, yeah. Different kind of game. Uh, the Chargers, another hot mess. Oh, man. The Chargers go into uh, Tennessee. And they lose to Tennessee. I can't even. I don't even know what's going on with the Chargers. I don't even know what's Tennessee's going on. Tennessee's another sleeper. Defensively, they Defensive, are. Defensively, yeah. This Marcus Mariota is trash, though. Yeah, they need him to get him out of here. He, and he's in a contract year. He's this, out of here. They need to get rid of him. Maybe. People say get rid of quarterbacks, but who are you replacing them with? 
they got to have a plan behind it. You got Tannehill there. They got rid of Tannehill in Miami. So, Who you replacing him with? Yeah, ain't nobody really. In the you might have though. to keep him. Yeah, true. New Orleans. Hey, Gary Callis. Gary Callis, my man Gary Callis is a big Bears fan. Mm -hmm. Gary Callis, I told you. I told you Bridgewater was going to bust him in the head. They, Teddy Bridgewater is hotter than a pistol They right need now. to keep him right now. Oh, they got to keep him. Drew has to sit. No, 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 no. Don't get carried away. Don't get carried he away. To, he has to sit. Don't get carried away. <laughs> Auntie Cam got to sit. <laughs> Drew Brees is a legend. Drew Brees, as soon as Drew Brees thumb get right, he going back in. But they got to keep him because Drew is 42 years old. Yeah, he's getting old. They're getting up there. So they yeah. got to keep Bridgewater. Yeah, they need to get him. But don't, don't, don't say that blasphemy. That's that 23-year-old <laughs> intuition kicking. Yeah, don't say that blasphemy. Uh, uh, Baltimore, Baltimore surprises me. It goes into Seattle and wins. That's yes. a big surprise. They're like a up and, like, up and down. Like You never know what them. They're like a hit or miss with, with Baltimore. Yeah. A big surprise. And last but not least, oh, yeah. before we go into the Jets, Philadelphia gets washed. Yeah. Gets oh, washed yep. on Sunday uh -huh. night by the Dallas Cowboys. Yes, hold up, hold up, hold up. We the boys. <laughs> I told y'all we was going 30 plus. Yep. I told y'all we was going to win by two scores. Did I tell hey, Bobby was at last week's show. I told yeah. you this. I said the same thing to my friends. Everybody looked at him. Yo, John, what you talking about? And then you had the coach running his mouth. Mm -hmm. Talk about what they was going to try to Gotta guarantee your win. Stay humble. What'd you say? Stay humble. Stay humble. He messed up right then and there. Stay, Stay humble. Because all you did was put the battery in their back. The battery. Oh, we was running around that field like I, I, I asked this thing. We yeah. running around that field like I asked this thing. <laughs> and then Dak Prescott. And then let me tell you, your boy Amari Cooper. Against that poor secondary. Yeah, he killed him. Skandrick, you know, Skandrick got released the next day. Skandrick is always hurt. Who cares about Skandrick? <laughs> Who cares about Skandrick? Orlando Skandrick. <laughs> Who cares about him? I think the best thing that's ever happened to him is that he dated Dre. If I'm not mistaken, he's the one that dated uh, that fine-ass Dre. Oh, he dated somebody fine. I'm Ooh, that Dre is fine. Good God. A lot of people, oh. you know what's crazy? A lot of people sleep on Dak. But he's a natural born winner. He, Dak has done uh, nothing but win since he's coming to NFL. He needs to get paid. I'm going to say that right now. He needs to get paid. All that 23 year old uh, intuition works. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> See you back. See you back in two minutes. Joseph A. Slinger Haskell Funeral Service, Inc., located at 155 Sunrise Highway, Amityville, New York, 631 842 2788. We service the Amityville and surrounding areas, shipping foreign and domestic with cremation services available. With every service being catered to your personal needs, we here at Slinger Haskell Funeral Service will treat your family like it's our family. Again, we are located at 155 Sunrise Highway, Amityville, Long Island, 631-842-2788. Genesis Fuel has affordable heating oil for your home or commercial property. Genesis Fuel is family owned and operated for the past 16 years. It's going to get cold. Call 631-249-1438 or www.genesisfueloil.com. Genesis Fuel services Suffolk, Nassau, and Queens. So call 631-249-1438. That's 631-249-1438. Or check out www.genesisfueloil.com. Did you figure anything out for Billy's birthday yet? Yeah, I'm looking at something that's pretty neat. You don't have to worry about cleaning up afterwards or anything. So cool. Tell me more. You now have my attention and my money. Remember last year we had a party at the house and the uh -huh. kids messed up the house? Guess what? Bust a move comes to the house and the children tear up the bus, not the house. Yeah, that's brilliant. I know it's brilliant. Can't wait. This party is going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. The Bust a Move Movie Bus has a projection screen, fresh popcorn, theater seating, and surround sound for your ultimate movie experience. The Glamour Bus has nail painting, face painting, massage chairs, dress up accessories, and even a fashion show. The Activity Bus has a platform with a slide and tunnel, ball pit, dance zone, as well as a few other organized activities. And for all the gamers out there, the Gaming Bus has a total of six screens, popular systems and games, and even a separate rear room with interactive games. Be sure to book us for your next event. And we're back with my man, Papa John. Papa John Internet sensation comedian. Tell the people where you're going to be this weekend. I'm going to be at Celebs Sports and Bar. 
October 31st, front and center. I'm the special guest. I'm telling you, it's going to be a movie. You never know. Please I might come even, out. I Please come out and support. How much are the tickets? The tickets right now are $20. At the door. But if you are close to me, the promo is 10 Oh, okay. Well, okay. 10. Talk about it. it. Yeah, 10. listen. It 10. Come out there and support. There. Come out there and support. Come laugh. Yeah, come laugh. Come I laugh. Mean, and it ain't far as in Elmont. I come laugh. I might take my shirt off when I get on the oh, mic. You never know. Kill him. I'm a killer. I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. I do it. <laughs> I do it. <laughs> When I was like 40, though. <laughs> now I'm 48, I, and I got a wife, and the wife look at me with a raised eyebrow. <laughs> Boy, if you don't keep that damn shirt on. <laughs> okay. Ricky Williams, what's up, cousin? What's up, cousin? I love you. Uh, ben Patton, so you have Dallas Cowboys winning the division? Ben Patton, did he agree with us? Ben Patton, <laughs> listen to my man. 100% solidified, verified, put a stamp on it. This solidified, this week's game solidified the whole did he, did deal. He, did he agree with us or did he disagree? No, Ben Patton. I don't like disagreeing. Ben Patton got a good head on his shoulders when it comes to the sports. He ain't disagree, he asked the question. No, but when you ask, that more me. You, 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 you know. You Who, know, me? No, he's supposed to be down. No, him, Ben, ben? Patterson. I think Ben is a, a giant fan, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, a big so that was just a fan. slick way of his Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Okay. yeah. Right. What's the address? Aurora, I'm Love Workman. What's the address in Elmont? Um, Celeb Sports and Bar. I don't have it on my Facebook We don't have the not. exact address, yeah. but we'll put it up. What's we'll put the, it up. It's Celeb Sports. Sports Bar. Sports Bar. My phone is dead right now, but once I turn it on, I'll, I'll put it up one night. Okay, so we'll get that address to you. But in the meantime, <sighs> last night, I ordered my wife to make dinner before 8 p.m. So, I didn't order her. Let me just say that real quick. I, didn't order <laughs> I had to look her. at you. Let me say that real quick. Let me fix that. I thought you I wanted to text order. me right there. I asked her <laughs> to make dinner I ordered her. before 8 p.m. <laughs> so I could sit down and watch the Jets. The Jets. Before I could digest dinner <laughs> to get my first fart out. The Giants with the, the Giants with that 21 nothing. You know it's crazy. It was disgusting. My grandma looked at the TV and said, "Look like that green team sucked." <laughs> she said that. She Even your grandma that. knew. Your grandma knew like that. Oh team was my God! Why am I <laughs> torturing myself with the Jets? I don't get it. Oh. She's like, what, that green team, they look bad. I heard oh they bad. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Le'Veon Bella, I, I, Le'Veon Bella, I apologize. I think he made a rap a rap song. He, he probably had it. It's probably as bad as the Jets right now, that rap song. But Le'Veon Bella, I apologize. I'm so sorry you had to come to this debacle. <laughs> and then they make it a big deal at him saying he was seeing ghosts. Like, like, I thought it was foul that they, they, they put that on the air, too. But he was seeing ghosts. Mm -hmm. And that means, people, he's feeling or seeing a pass rush before it gets there. So what New England did was speed up his clock, yeah. which, which a lot of defensive coordinators try to do. That's what he meant by seeing ghosts. So please, people, relax. Okay, this week's games. Thursday, Kansas City at Denver. Who you got? Kansas City. Kansas City. 100%. I take Kansas City, too. All day. I think the backup quarterback. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Just wrong picks. All right. Wrong picks. It's still Kansas Washington City. And Washington at Minnesota. Minnesota. Of course. We don't even discuss that. Yeah, there's no. Your boy Kirk Cousins go wild out. Washington, D.C. must have some tape for them. They go wild out. Uh, sickness in the system. Like Seattle. Who, the gangster. I call, I call Russell Wilson the gangster because he, he uh, told Seattle, listen, boo, tell your man, um, Future. Future. That baby ours. He tell him keep his child support. <laughs> That's what he told him. Keep your, keep your child support. Yeah, keep your little straight. He money. going to Atlanta. Ain't, ain't, ain't your boy from Atlanta? Yeah, he from Atlanta. Future from Atlanta. From Atlanta. Oh, Russell Wilson about to act up. Yeah. He about to act up and have Future Baby on the sideline with him. Listen, Seattle going to score like 50 points. I believe it too. I'm oh, okay, as long as you know. 56 to 7. 56 to 7. I'm calling it. 56 to 7, I'm calling it. That's how I'm feeling. 56 to 7? That man going to show. Oh, he, he going to show out. In front of in front of baby boy daddy. You're probably already thinking right now. He's oh, man. Show. It's about to be ugly. T Tampa Bay at Tennessee, who you got? Tampa's like a hit or miss. I'm going to go with my guns. I'm gonna go with Tampa, Tampa Bay's coming off a of bye week. I'm going to go with Tampa. 
I'm going to go with my guts. You go with Tampa. Mm, that's interesting. I took I'm Tennessee. Mm. Arizona at New Orleans. New Orleans. Facts. Yeah, I don't know what Arizona. Facts. Arizona might as well put their hands in the desert. And Facts. Because that, that New Orleans defense yeah. is just wilding out right now. They, they bogged on Dallas. <laughs> the Rams at Cincinnati. Rams. We don't even need to discuss that. Yeah. Cincinnati ain't got a shot. Nope. Okay, it's done. They going. You mean Cincinnati's going all the way to Los Angeles? Cincinnati's looking better than New York, though. I can say that. At least the uniforms are nice. <laughs> Watch your mouth. <laughs> Watch your mouth. I knew he was gonna get that. <laughs> oh, Oakland at Houston. Did Deshaun Watson lose two games in a row? I'm going with Oakland. So you got Deshaun Watson losing two games in a row. Yes. Wow. I, I took Houston. Philadelphia at Buffalo. Interesting game. Buffalo. I'm taking Buffalo 17, too. 17-14. Close one. Close one. I'm taking Buffalo too. The Chargers at Chicago. Another interesting game. Chicago. I got home. I got a Chicago's at home. I got a desperate, desperate. Chargers team. That's a, mm. and Chicago to, can't score. I'm going with Chicago. Oh, Gary Callis is about to love you. I'm going with Gary Callis is about to love you. Gary Callis is about to love you. Hold on, let's, let's, see, let's see what the people are saying. Uh, Patriots got Sanu. Yep, we know that. I love my Jets. Oh, Aurora, I'm love working with. See, Aurora, Aurora is 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 a glutton for punishment like me. I love my Jets, although I was so disappointed. You on you on the couch tonight? <laughs> no, no, no! I cleaned it up, Trayvon. I cleaned it up. Never a Giants fan. Whew, thank you, Ben. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> thank you. Do the big blue dopes are going to Detroit? Detroit. De yes, Detroit is upset right now. They lost two in a row. Twenty-eight to seven. Twenty-eight to seven. I give them fourteen. Twenty-eight fourteen. Woo, you being very generous. Very generous. Is 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 your boy Danny Crimes gonna turn the ball over three more times? He, five. Five! Detroit's on his heels. I'm telling you. Five in one game. You know how to give it up. All your big blue dope fans are gonna be hot talking about you all. They're gonna be hot to me. I'm you. a Dallas fan. What you want me to do? Uh, let's see. Right. Let's see. Listen. <laughs> I'm not mad at you for being raised correctly. <laughs> Carolina at San Francisco. Sure. Does does the quarterback and Carolina lose his first game. Kyle, uh, uh, forget his last name. I feel like San Francisco a little bit too cocky, so I'm going to go with Carolina. I think they came down a notch with a 9 nothing win over Washington. I got Carolina. You got Carolina. They're a little bit too above that themselves. That defense in San Francisco is for real. I got Carolina. Okay. Okay. Denver at Indianapolis. Indianapolis. I don't know what John L. The only reason why John Wayne has, has his job Wait. is because. Listen, hear me out. Go ahead. The, Go ahead. The only reason we why. We don't talk bad about John L. Wayne on this what show. <laughs> I wore number seven in high school because of John L. Wayne. John Wayne. The only reason why John L. Wayne has his job is because of his name. Okay, I'll put the whistle away. <laughs> That's true facts. You're going to argue with Damn that. Damn right. That's John facts. Elway. He's That's... John Elway. He deserves a certain level of respect. Your name. Absolutely. But what if you don't win? He got a Super Bowl already. What have you shown me since then? Don't be Janet Jackson here. To <laughs> my here we go. Here we go. Listen to this one. Yeah. Cleveland at New England. New England. Cleveland is in trouble, New people. Cleveland's going to have a field day. Cleveland's in trouble. They're about to put the fork in your boy Baker Mayfield. Listen, turn, stay firm. Turn them Baker Mayfield commercials off. We don't want to see no losing quarterback. If that's the case, then we need to hurry up and give Sam Darnold a commercial. Oh, my God. I don't know what type of hairstyle that is, but that has to go. <laughs> <laughs> that has to go. Yeah. Okay. Green Bay at Kansas City. This game I had a rough time with. You got the backup quarterback in Kansas City. He's all right, too. Not, he is. He's, he's not, not bad. Mahomes, he's not Mahomes. But he's, he's not right. bad. He, you're right about that. He's not bad. But you got Green Bay playing a little bit of defense. You got Kansas City who plays no defense, and Aaron Rodgers against that Kansas City defense. It's going to be a high-scoring game. I think so, too. I see a 
48-32 type of game. Green Bay. Green Bay. I took Green, Green Bay. Bay, too. Because I see Aaron Rodgers against that Kansas City defense. He's going to have a field day. It's coming off of six touchdowns. Yeah. I see seven. <sighs> okay. I see seven. Mm-hmm. Okay. Monday night game. Everybody, listen. So we need- this is what you need to do Monday night because this game is useless. Okay. What you need to do is... Tape power, record power. <laughs> yeah. Right? Power. Record power. Watch, watch Shark Tank Sunday night. Watch Shark Tank Sunday night. Record power and watch it on Monday. Because nobody cares about the Miami Pittsburgh game. Nobody. Nobody cares. I'm nobody. taking I'm taking Pittsburgh. But who cares about this game? Well, I, I thought Dallas played this week, but they have a bye. Yes, they have a bye. So if we can get like a step further, they play uh what'd you call them? The New York Big blue oh, dopes. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, the big blue dopes. It's Get over it right. for the dopes. <laughs> they, oh, they're, no, they're about to finish in third place in that division. <laughs> and Phil, they, they might finish tied for second place with Philadelphia at at seven and nine. Nuts. It's over. It's, it's over. It's yeah. a wrap. They're getting back. Dallas is getting back healthy again, man. I'm team Dallas. Yeah, yeah. I actually had a show down in Dallas. They have a very good barbecue down there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very Fat, good barbecue. Fat Boy Dream. Fat Boy was, Paradise. It was one of them things I had. I don't oh, know yeah, what Fat it was. Boy Paradise. I know what it is. They had chili dogs I got to like figure this. to maintain, too. <laughs> <laughs> they had chili dogs like this, man. Where, 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 you, where you gonna be? Where you gonna be this next week? Next week. Celebs Nightclub. I'm gonna be at Elmar. I'm gonna get the address and put it on my Facebook and everything. And we'll put it up on uh, on my Facebook page, yeah, too. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna come out and support okay. this for Long Island, just, just in general. I'm Go represent gonna, for Long Island. Yeah. Amityville, stand up for your boy. Amityville, please stand up for your boy. Please go out there and support the young dude. 23 years old. 23 years old. About to be 24 in December. 24 in December. When? Yeah. December what? December 19th. Oh, okay. Okay. You're almost a Capricorn. Man. Almost a Capricorn. Oh. Okay. But he's going to be out there. Please come support the young stallion. Please come support the young man. And last but not least, you can always check, catch me here, right here on Strong Island TV, every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. You can also catch me on Roku, people. That's right, Roku. iHeartRadio, Spotify, SoundCloud, Spreaker, NJSBNE right there on Instagram, NJSBNE right there on Twitter. If you missed any shows, episodes 1 through 11 are right there on YouTube. And, of course, every Sunday morning from 9 to 11 because, you know, one hour just ain't enough for me. (laughs) You can catch me right there Sunday morning. So while you go into church, John... Turn your phone on and check me out. Not just sports by no laps. Right Right before the service, I got you. Okay? (laughs) And we'll be back next week with episode 13, Not Just Sports by No Laps, right here on Strong Island TV. Peace. Only a few. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Appreciate what's about to happen. Welcome to Not Just Sports by No Laps. Because it is my day. I'm in the building. I'm in the building. We got a lot to discuss. We got well. Okay, this is an abbreviated show. Because I got this to do. But I promise I will be. Listen, I'm not running for anything.